this update, I'm going to start with two videos from viewers that was uh, provided to me of spotted under construction locations. The first one is in Anthony, Texas, supplied by, let's see, West Coast Chiquino, I believe is how it's pronounced. This site has been under construction for a while and basically left in this state for a good long while. I'm thinking as long as six months. With they're waiting on a transformer, and as far as I could tell from this video, there is no transformer yet. But there's a good shot of the facility. You see it's a Flying J with an attached Denny's in a really nice place. It's on Interstate 10, which is in the extreme western portion of Texas, kind of close to New Mexico and the Mexico border. <clears throat> Very hot, so the canopy will be nice. Mountains in the background, very pretty. Looks like a big piece of property. A lot of these Pilot Flying J's have really large plots of land at their um, locations. 350 kilowatt dispensers, still wrapped in plastic, waiting for energy, uh, being energized from the transformer and commissioning. Otherwise, all ready to go. Next one is Eaton, Ohio, provided by Steve at Plug and Play EV. He's on in the process of doing a very long road trip, so expect some really good EV road trip content from Steve at Plug and Play EV in the coming days and weeks. Non-canopy location at a pilot. Looks like an attached subway. And I believe it has the transformer already, so that one is almost ready to go. And here is Belmont, Ohio. And as you can see, there is a transformer. He starts off with there. He's zooming out. You can't really see it in this shot, but there is a canopy. You'll be able to see the canopy a little bit better as he pulls back a little bit more. Both dispensers are placed on the pads. They are not energized yet. There is still work ongoing. It's nice that the garbage cans are already in place, though. So, <laughs> amenities galore. Very nice. We're going to swing around here and see the facility. It is a pilot. Okay, let's get back to the update. This was in the Q2 Investor Relations slide deck from EVgo. What I want to call everyone's attention to, it says stalls in operation or are under construction in EVgo Extend and EVgo Network. So the Pilot Flying J build is a part of the EVgo Extend numbers, but it's also Mayher. Mayher is a grocery store in the Midwest and they are also doing EVgo Extend locations. So this is not exclusively Pilot Flying Go, but it's mostly Pilot Flying J. Um, and stalls in operation. So if you do the math here, this says 190. So you do 480 minus 190 is uh, 480 minus 190 is 290, and 290 divided by four because each pilot flying J has four stalls. That's 72 stations. It says only 45 pilot flying J known under construction. That's before I did this update. We're up to 51 known under construction. So 72. And I know of 51. That means there's about 20 sleeper sites out there, maybe as low as 15, depending how many of these are mayor. But there's a significant amount of sleeper sites that are out there that have not been spotted yet. Um, but that's kind of the pattern we've been seeing. That's a little bit higher than I was expecting. But uh, still, it's good to see the actual numbers coming from EVgo. This location... Um, is in Texas, was brought to my attention by Doug M, a viewer. It's a pilot dealer location. So pilot has their own locations that are a part of the corporate portfolio, but they also do some franchise deals. Not very many, but there are some, and this is one of them. And it looks like this. So there's a shell gas station. Normally at a Pilot Flying J, you'll see fuel supplied by what's called the 1-9 network, which is the in-house uh, fueling network by Pilot Flying J. And uh, Starbucks, awfully nice. And six dual-handled shell recharge dispensers. Again, this is in Herney, Texas, I believe is how it's pronounced. And uh, since he sent me this, it actually opened. And it is 
available for charging. And um, it's kind of in central Texas. You could look it up on PlugShare. But that was something interesting. I'm not going to track that because I'm only tracking the Pilot Flying J General Motors Energy EVgo partnership build. So this is a little bit outside. There's also Pilot Flying Js that have Tesla superchargers on their property, but I'm not tracking those either. This is just the GM Energy um, project. There's also what I've been noticing is some black holes. For instance, in South Carolina, the states surrounding South Carolina all have builds or spotted under construction. South Carolina's got absolutely nothing. Same thing with Illinois. Illinois has got builds going on all the way around it. Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Wisconsin, Missouri, but Illinois, zilch. is absolutely nothing. And it could be because the uh, Pilot Flying J submits um, applications for funding, both NEVI and state funding. And until they hear back, they're not going to proceed with the build at those locations. So this could just be held up in bureaucratic um, decision making. I'm not quite sure. Um, but these are noticeable black holes. Colorado and the upper Great Plains as well. I think that's just because they don't have a lot of locations in these uh, areas, uh, but it might be deliberate. I'm not quite sure. We are being told that the location selection is being done by an artificial intelligence engine at General Motors. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but we have been told that's the case. So perhaps there's some reason the artificial intelligence is choosing to skip these areas. Uh, West Virginia, of course, is the heart of coal country. They're not very friendly to EVs, and it's hard to get EV chargers in there, and there's been no sight of no sign of any builds going on in West Virginia. Southern California, not quite sure why we haven't seen anything there. And then the deep south of Louisiana, Mississippi, we haven't seen any, any builds occurring there, but we have seen Arkansas and Alabama. Both those sites have been, both those states have been pretty active. New this update spotted under construction, we've got Cadwell, Idaho by... Steve at Plug and Play EV. His road trip is truly impressive, and we should get some uh, good videos coming shortly. Oklahoma City, one, this one kind of threw me for a loop because there's another Oklahoma City that um, I received some pictures for, and I was assuming it was for the one that was already known to be spotted under construction. So I had to get down in Google Earth Street View and do some line of sight in order to recognize that no is actually the other Oklahoma City location. So we have two locations now under construction in Oklahoma City. We have Fort Worth, Texas. There was a truck car wash getting built here and no EV charging. So we kind of thought this was just going to be non-EV charging construction. But since then, they've actually started construction of the EV charging as well. This is Lincoln, Alabama. It is spotted under construction just yesterday. And... This is what it looks like in table form. I'm not quite sure how, how to pronounce the YouTuber's handle who spotted the link in Alabama, but this was just yesterday that he's uh, provided me this information. Interstate 20 in between Atlanta and Birmingham. For pricing, it's gone up just a smidgen, uh, and it's continuing the pattern where it alternates by a nickel exactly a nickel each time uh, would whenever there's a change is is a difference of a nickel um, and um, we've gone up just a smidgen but you could see we've kind of normalized right around 60 cents as an average price for the entire network the high prices are um, mostly unchanged what has fallen off is london ohio went down a nickel so it fell off the list and on lowest prices the harrisburg virginia uh, decreased a nickel, so it got on the lowest price list. And I kind of like this one. It was a part of the original eight that opened, and it's on Interstate 81, which I frequent with some regularity. So kind of excited to see that at 42 cents. Various counts. These are um, the totals for open is 56. Spotted under construction is 51. Ohio, these state numbers are basically unchanged. The interstates have adjusted a little bit. Interstate 40 is now up to 11, catching up to Interstate 75. And 95 has four. Um, so some good progress going on here. And the time zone breakouts, Central has 20 open, 19 spotted under construction. The East Coast time zone is still reigning supreme with 33 open. 24 spotted under construction. The mountain time zone has two open, and the reason it has two is because I mistakenly put Post Falls, Idaho in the Pacific time zone previously, 
and I've since adjusted that. So we've got two open in the mountain time zone and seven spotted under construction. That's pretty good. So the westward shift apparently seems to be on, on its way to occurring, at least to some extent. In the Pacific time zone, we're still at one open, one spotted under construction. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that has all the data tables and the canopy sites, uh, pic the pictures of the canopy sites, both open and spotted under construction. Thanks for watching.